Hey everybody, it's Dimo here. So recently, recently, Iron Mace has come out with the little new change that impacted the game quite drastically, a lot more drastically than I thought it actually would. So with the Warlock nerf that um, slightly nerfed the Warlock, didn't really nerf them too much, barely nerfed them in fact. Nerf was actually absolutely minimal consider all the buffs that the Warlock was given. There was one change that I kind of slept on, and that is my friend the Fighter Sprint skill. And the Fighter Sprint skill has been changed freaking drastically. Now you get to have the previous sprint with uh, 45 move speed, but previously it was 50, but now it, it, it's 45, which gonna downgrade itself um, with every couple of seconds up until the point that you get uh, to the 15 move speed. So initially, initially, you're gonna get a solid 45 move speed, which gonna drop by 15 every couple of seconds. And I think this is really good. I think this is really freaking drastic, I would say. In fact, like this build in particular, which I always considered to be S tier, got much, much better. And for today's video, we're gonna play on the new fighter build. Well, maybe it's not that new, which previously was an a tier, but with this patch, this build got even better because the sprint, oh boy, like this build already offers you a lot of move speed, high PDR, high action speed, decent amount of health, and on top of that, to top it all, all off, you know, you're gonna be running at 330 move speed for a solid first couple of seconds, but then it's just gonna slowly drop down. Like originally, originally, this build was way too fucking broken. With a 50 move speed, you'd be able to run for 330 move speed cap for way too long in a PDR set with too much physical damage reduction. But as of right now, even though the sprint got nerfed, not just once, but twice, and this time this was a good change, I would say, very good change that I do kind of like, because you can expect that well i mean it's also it also feels kind of realistic in a way that you get to run really quick you know in all this plate massive plate for first couple of seconds and basically you know you just uh, start slowing down which uh, i think is a really thematic change that i do kind of appreciate i feel like right now the fighter is in a really good state mainly mainly due to the fact that warlock slightly got nerfed and also well hear hear me out when the melee thrives the fighter is going to be the absolute S tier. When the melee doesn't thrive, the fighter, well, is gonna be slightly lower. But even though there is too many casters in the game, um, it doesn't change the fact that the amount of barbs, rogues, um, and uh, other fighters is pretty good. And if you get to make a build for your fighter, that it will be able to deal with other fighters, with, uh, you know, bards, with rangers, with, you know, all that kind of stuff, then, you know, you're actually gonna make a really OP build. And this one build in particular is really freaking OP. One, you get to have a dark plate armor. Dark plate armor offers you a good amount of magic resistance. You could replace it with the fine cuirass. In fact, I do believe I have one, pretty decent one, but it will slow you down by extra couple of uh, move speed so it's really up to you holy fuck the difference is not existing by the way six percent physical damage reduction and four health all right but um well yeah we're gonna talk about this later in today's video we're playing with a dark plate <laughs> I almost changed the fucking, I almost completely changed the direction I was thinking about this build, maybe the fine plate would be the place, but the thing is, like, there is still too much uh, magic, and having at least 16% magic resistance, you know, gonna be quite helpful. Um, you could try and throw a little more magic, but unless you really focus on a full magic build, you don't really want to do that, you want to have just about enough to survive the encounter. Well, the upside of this build that I'm going to be running with is having a very high regular interaction speed. So pretty much the regular interaction speed will um, make this build to be an, an absolute ass tier farming class. Basically, you will be able to farm other players such as Bart, such as other fighters, because the Rondel beats Falchion, the Rondel beats um, Arming Sword, the Rondel beats Viking Sword. If you're going to come across those fighters, you're gonna win those encounters. Also, Rondel Bits Longsword. Okay, so what else? What else is there is to say about this build? High, high action speed. I tried to put a decent amount of action speed. This whole build, though, is cost 
I don't even know how much it costs. It's just the thing is I've been playing on the bar for so long and I just had so much resources to throw that um, I just ended up deciding to, hey, like I had the amount of, you know, rep, the amount of builds I could use and I could make for my fighter is kind of ridiculous. And I was like, hey, I got to make something interesting to play with. Um, so I try to focus on a couple of main attributes, which is action speed to be able to shoot people with rival bow and move speed. But also I decided to throw a little bit of regular interaction speed so that in case if you're gonna encounter rogues, you know, with um who will be able to open doors fast, you will be able to actually catch up. Also, you can simply re remove the dark plate armor, which gonna still give you about decent amount of physical damage reduction, even with that, without that, and you're still gonna be pretty fast. So you will be able to actually um have a chance, stand a chance to fight like warlocks, you know, withers and other nasty bullshit. Um, so pretty much I feel like I did conclude the majority of the build. Once again, I'm gonna be playing with the Rondell dagger with the buckler. Buckler is, this buckler is pretty good. It has armor and physical damage reduction, but it doesn't have additional max health that you can get um also you know so it's like it's good but you could make it better um i believe this build in particular probably costs around four to six thousand gold but i'm not exactly 100 percent sure because all of those items that you see right here as in rings that are recently bought they were at 300 gold each the rest of the items were either taken from players and this chapel was also around 500 gold so actually yeah and but the survival bow that i spent like a thousand gold on it <laughs> because i just want to fucking have legendary survival bow but um it doesn't change the fact, doesn't change the fact that um, even with all of these, the Withers and Warlocks could still cook you. So you do need to put some thoughts into fights you're gonna have. And you gotta be more or less decent. But if you're gonna come across Bard um, or a fighter, yes, this build will thrive. Even against Rangers, you're gonna do just fine. But um, really geared Rangers probably still will not give um, anyone a chance because at the very high end gear point where all the ranger does is just camping one point well i don't think there is a single class that will be able to deal with the camping ranger because well ranger is the rightiest class in the game like the rightiest they get hit once they unsheath their weapon they start to run away and they start to follow the routine that they already practice long enough so that you will step in a trap. You will try to cut corners. And when you're going to try cut corners to catch up. Uh, this is what they're trying uh, you to do in the first place. So this is a little tip for anyone who is struggling against rangers. If you see a good ranger, don't bother fighting them. It's not worth it. Your gear set is more important to fight like other fighters, barbs. And uh, you know what it meant for originally. But if, if you feel like you know the ranger is uh, going to be such a free kill. It's very likely that you're gonna put yourself in a position where a ranger will be able to control you from start to the end. And sometimes, sometimes, when it feels like it's way too easy to get the ranger, like you got too close, you really gotta look under, you know? Because make sure you don't step in those traps. They really, you know, manage to trick you, especially the OG veteran ranger players who played this game long enough. So, yeah, holy cow, I think I mentioned too much, but there's one thing that I didn't mention, and that is my friend, my build. So, this is the build I'm gonna run, the Weapon Mastery. So, I will be able to use the combination of Rondell, Buckler, and Survival Bow. With the, um, without the Weapon Mastery, you won't be able to use Rondell and the Survival Bow. There's one thing, though, that I haven't explained. Well, before we go to the depth in depth about the build, the... Rondel time to sheath and then sheath is minimal so you will be able to put the weapon out at a speed of light and you will be able to start stabbing especially if someone is chasing you for example if someone is chasing you you can actually use this to your advantage the moment you see that the guy who you're going to be fighting with doesn't have a weapon in their hands you will be able to um, sheath and unsheath your weapon in matter of um, you know fracture of seconds all right so and survival bow yeah survival bow is just really good it's a kiting um, meta weapon and pretty much i'm gonna try and target practice with survival bow a little more i'm currently level 36 so i don't really get to play a fighter that much but i genuinely feel like this class in particular with this build is arguably the strongest classes there is in the game one of the strongest classes there is in the game with this build in particular the fighter the fighter without this build 
is gonna be um, low A and probably low B tier, somewhere next to Barbarian. And once again, that is because the fighters still have counterplay potential. And because the fighter is capable of using survival bow, you can't physically put it in the B tier. The survival bow been in meta for way too long and still meta. Anyway, okay, okay, the rest of the build. Now, Swift. Swift very much gives me a solid 5 move speed. And Swift and 5 move speed is like having an extra pair of boots. And pretty much you want to have that. That's just way too good to sleep on. 5 move speed is a lot. It really is a lot. Defense Mastery. Without Defense Mastery, I would be at 41%. 6 physical damage reduction. 6% of physical damage reduction is way too much. You want to have that. And as for the rest, I'm going to use the combat attack. Since mainly this build isn't really made to parry, block or really bother with anything in particular, pretty much you do wanna have something that will increase your damage. You could try to use um, like barricade if you're really trying into blocking, but you don't wanna bother blocking too much with the um, buckler shield. It's way too tiny, it's basically only gonna protect your hand and that's about it. Pretty much it's way easy to mess up with the buckler, so you either try hard and practice with you know with the black clip for quite a while or or you don't really and you focus on the something that this class has really to offer and that is stat checking this is one of the strongest classes i mean this is one of the strongest builds that you can stat check people with and that's why i strongly encourage you to actually not play with this build because well it just this build in particular doesn't take much effort to play with because at the end of the day, all it would take to win the fight is hold W and, um, you know, spam the Rondel dagger. That that just it. That just really it. But uh, you could try spice it up and try use Royal Bow and abuse the move speed, which we're gonna try and do in today's video. So, okay. Alright, so I mentioned everything here. Sprint got buffed and i already mentioned that yeah we're gonna use it in today's video there is for that i was using the uh, either adrenaline rush or taunt because that would give me a more physical damage reduction and basically that kind of it so pretty much with the shield out i'm gonna be at a 57 percent and with the taunt i would be at like 67 percent so more or less the shield will give you around 10 percent physical damage reduction because the way armor scales once you go past 200 points your armor goes up drastically and basically the amount of effective health you're gonna get after 50 percent physical damage reduction is also massive all right second win even though I don't like to use the campfire to sit down for too long, the second win just get to offer you way too much health as a return. Gradual health recovery over 12 seconds is really damn good. But also, also, if you're gonna play with a second win and adrenaline rush in the combination, pretty much what it's gonna do is it's gonna remove the negative drawback of adrenaline rush. If you didn't know that, well, it's gonna be quite effectful. But the thing is, you don't wanna sleep on the screen because currently, currently, screen got buffed and it's way too good to sleep on. Okay. All right, well, I think I've mentioned everything now. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go normals and we're gonna practice this build out before we go into high roller. I'm not sure if we wanna play in a high roller because the wizards and the warlocks is out of control. And when you play wizards, I mean, when you play high roller, you don't really get to find anyone other than rogues and wizards and warlocks. And if you wanna still make a very decent amount of profit, I highly encourage you to play in normals, even if uh, you're gonna bring out good gear you're gonna encounter actually geared players there more or less because normals is where you can find a very good amount of gold even though you're gonna encounter some very very geared players yes yeah, sometimes it takes the risk and takes the effort to actually you know play normals i've noticed one thing in particular there is more naked people in the high roller than there is in normals because apparently people do like um to go with barely nothing in the high roller and end up coming up with a whole set because the blue drop and the purple drop rate on in high roller is just you know way bigger than it is in normals normals you would be able to get a full inventory of greens but in high roller you could get a full inventory of blues and purples and that is why majority of the players you're gonna encounter in the high roller is just going to be naked um so yeah 
basically. And also the drawback of the high roller is there is the PvP is very scarce. It's like it's very rare. It's hard to find anyone to fight. And when you're going to find someone, people are just going to be simply running away because they just want to make some quick profit because the high roller is pretty good for a quick profit. But also, I absolutely hate that you need to pay 100 gold because previously the 100 gold requirement wasn't, you know, there and you, you would just be paying with your AP. And basically, this is about it. So, yeah, now that I've mentioned everything, we're gonna go in the Goblin Caves. This is exactly where I love to play. This is my favorite map, even though it's um, claimed to be the new player map. I absolutely love this map. So, yeah, this is what we're gonna do in a short amount of time, and I'll see you in a dungeon. Alright, so there is one very, very weird player in the lobby, and uh, basically, I don't want to find him. Let's see if he's gonna shoot me. I don't want to waste time on him, though. I don't want to waste time on a guy who doesn't have nothing. Let him enjoy and play the game. Listen, sometimes it's just gonna be like that. Sometimes you just better let new players leave, you know? Look for the players who are half decent. Alright, we have a wither here. Hear me out. If you're gonna attack me, I'm gonna kill him, period. Alright, well... That's his choice. Now my decision, brother. You decided your fate. I'm not sure what exactly I heard here, but um, definitely some noise. Maybe guy down. Oh wait. Maybe he has trap. Hundred percent, he has a trap. Fuck. Just a matter of time. Boink. <laughs> another another very geared guy. Gotta check what he has. This guy was a big threat. Oh, this guy is super geared. Holy cow. Wow, no. Uh, this guy was actually fucking... That's a lot of threat. I had to be super careful with him. Hmm. Looks like someone killed a troll. Let's go and see what the guy is up to. Looks like there's one guy who's killing everyone with the rapier. That's good. Who the fuck is he? Did he by any chance kill the Cyclops as well? The beauty though of the Rondel is that you can cheese and uncheese it like in just a matter of seconds. Like, fracture of a second and you're ready to fight. Right, I'm gonna take the torch, I think. The guy who killed those players were probably looting the gold pile or something. So if anything, we're gonna encounter him very soon. Okay. We're doing blue pot. Okay. Nice. Two shots. Headshot. Double headshot. Probably three headshots at least. I didn't even got to use my E, the guy didn't stand a chance. This is a very geared bite, by the way. This is the guy that I was talking in the pre-lobby. 130 health, 35 PDR. This guy is like easily I don't even know how much, like 5 to 7k maybe, we gotta check what he has, but this is the guy with all bunch of true, I found him in the pre-lobby, and he is definitely one geared motherfucker, it looks like he is kinda cheesy, oh fucking hell, holy fuck, Jesus Christ, sheesh, this man is super fucking geared, he's not just geared, he is super fucking geared, this guy is a straight up monstrosity, Every single piece he has is some fucking god tier stuff. Holy cow, brother. Holy cow. Holy hell, that is way too much cheese for one freaking game, brother. That is too much cheese, my homie. All right, well, let's get the freak out of here. Let's get the freak out of here. Ha. <laughs> Bro, the amount of delusion this guy is in is ridiculous. One, he is a bard player. Two, he is asking me to play duos with him right after I killed him. He said he has another fucking kid. What am I fucking born yesterday? <laughs> like the amount of people 
who actually tried to betray and like, you know, act nice, like right after they die is actually ridiculous. Don't get baited, don't lose your stuff. All right, we're in. First, what the hell is this? Yo, I was trying to save this guy from this evil rogue. Oh my goodness. Now it's time to lose every single shot that there is. <laughs> but listen, it's gonna be a very good target practice, by the way. Okay, that's hit. That's hit as well, I believe. Oh, missed. Wow, wow that was actually quite clean, by the way. Another one that worked out. How much arrows is he gonna freaking eat, brother? Wow. What a tanky one freaking man. Alright, I don't wanna get trapped by mobs here. I don't wanna talk about this. Holy fuck, that almost gave me a heart attack. Where the freak he came from? I genuinely didn't hear any form of sound or noise coming from this guy. I would assume the rogue landmine is back and probably this is actually gonna be pretty good. I might as well start trying to play in a rogue a little bit and actually see how the class is gonna perform. But I did not hear any form of noise and he could possess a lot of threat. Damn, it seems like one of those games where there is literally no action going on. Ah, shit. Alright, I want to practice survival ball. I could kill him with the rondelle, but listen. I gotta put some effort in survival ball. The kite and meta. Like, actually, he's kind of fucking cooking me. <laughs> oh, I wanted that. I wanted that. I wanted that one little... Ooh. <laughs> Oof. I'm losing the fight, brother. Okay. Couple stops. This is it. Yo, the boys! Holy tanky, man. I would assume it's because I was like slowly doing damage. Oh, yeah, he is. Like a naked. PDR fighter is still gonna be at 50% PDR, so pretty much in order for me to kill him, I'd had to do like um, 300 damage because of the second win he used. So pretty much, let's say he has 100 health, 140 was the second win plus 50 PDR, so you pretty much just double that number. That's why he took actually that many stops. But if I would use my second win right away, he would have died really quick. I just wanted to practice with the survival bow. Or you can use this as an excuse that you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like we have someone here. Another target practice? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty fast with this build, so pretty much you can do the exact same thing if you build up 300 move speed. Just stay away from everyone and just keep shooting arrows. For a little bit of extra damage, this is definitely not bad. I always want to become a doctor, so I guess let's check what his knees are made of. <laughs> Sorry. But actually, yeah, I'm kind of curious how many knee shots it would take to kill him. <laughs> let's just be real here. All right, let's start. Oh, missed. Bro, I can't land a single hit. I really need some practice with the elbow. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. I missed. I missed again. Ow. Four. Six. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nope. Eight. Nine. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, bro. Um, sorry. Listen, I got carried away. I had a goal in mind. I was going until the very end. <laughs> Ten fucking hours. Oh god, listen, he had PDR. He is very geared. Like, I had to be very careful with him. One mistake, and I would be very fucking dead. And this is the reason why this class is so broken, the one that I'm playing at. Because it just gives you such a big variety of um, stuff that you could actually perform with this class. 
for all new players who is like watching me right now and just recently started to play the game like you should definitely try this class out like because you will be able to do the exact same thing as i like you know shown in this video like you just gotta try do the exact same things the same steps you got it brother i believe in you By the way, this guy is super geared. Yo, holy cow. Wow. This guy is running best, man. Wow. Jesus Christ. I think... Whoa, what the hell, bro? Okay. The boy was chilling literally in the middle with the cloak and the cape. Oh shit, holy cow bro, this guy is so geared man. Yo, this guy is giga juicer. Wow, this cloak is so expensive. Holy cow man. Alright, so I'm gonna drag everything. I accidentally threw the fucking rings in the wrong place. My bad. So pretty much, I wanna track the progression. So that you would be able to see how much money we're gonna make from playing normals and high roller together, you and me. And pretty much, maybe we'll try to calculate, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you everything we were able to make together. Alright, looks like we have someone here. Hmm? Long sword fighter. I believe this guy has like 40 plus PDR with 120 health, so... Even if he doesn't have gear, he is possessed strat because the amount of time... I would have to hit him, it's gonna... It's gonna take a lot of hits, it's just as simple as that. But also, I don't wanna take him serious as a form of respect to a DDR fighter. Alright, GG brother. I didn't have to use my second win, but it doesn't change the fact that it was a pretty good fight. You can see the guy has absolutely nothing, but just those base items will put you at like 120 health and like 40 to 50 PDR. Just white items could make you 50% PDR fighter. Practice and survival bow never gets old, like for real. I don't have much experience. Oh, that was actually a pretty clean shot. Just want to use survival bow for the most part, even though this is probably not the ideal way, but it's right. Bro, I'm missing my shots. Okay. When he jumps, it's actually a pretty free shot. Okay. Four hits down so far. Wow. Another headshot. Yes, so. Another headshot. So I land six hits. And I believe two or three were headshots. Not bad, not bad. Something I had right here. Oh, Warlock. And the fighter. Warlock was the fucking laser? Laser beam? <laughs> okay. Does he realize he's getting hit? Okay, it's your time now. Okay. There's nothing more satisfying than kneecap shots. Something about it. Oh, holy cow, right in the face. I still prefer kneecaps. No. Bro, not like that. Not like that, my homie. Oh. Mm hmm. I can never get enough of this. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> more I do it, more I wanna do it. And also, this guy is slightly geared. He has a bunch of good pieces that um, also, you know, gonna be good for sale. I've noticed one thing in particular. People find pretty good pieces and instead of selling them... Oh, shit, he died from cringe, seems like. From Goblin Archer. 
no witnesses. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems like we have rangers. All right, we only gotta shoot knees. You know, gotta gotta give them a chance. Give me them toes, brother. Come here. <laughs> Yo, that is kind of cheating, no? Fucking blue pot, red pot, sheesh. He also eating food. Like, I didn't do any damage, I feel like. Oh. Sometimes it's a little harder than it looks. What? Bro, where did his body go? Holy cow. He'll completely vanished from my fucking screen for a second. <laughs> we have a guy farming ore. Pretty much, this is the reason... Oh, looks like he has a cape. I'm gonna showcase you why this build is actually quite broken. It's because of the ability to kite players and pretty high move speed. He's trying to get away. Ah, oh, shit, it's fine. Alright, well, I mean, he didn't even try to bother fighting me back. But I'm gonna get this free copper just like this. Alright, long sword fighter. Been trying to catch up to this guy for past three minutes. I wanna keep shooting him with Royal Bow, either until I run out of arrows or until I kill him. Yeah, I could actually commit to a fight, but I feel like, you know, it's a pretty good showcase about the things that are kind of wrong about this game. Oh, I fucked up actually big time. <laughs> nah, it's still fine though. Okay, he's gonna second win. I don't think what I do here is legal, like straight up. I don't think this is right. Like the ability to indefinitely kite players and just shooting them with survival bow is is just not it, man. It's just not it. It's just not a fun mechanic, you know, for person who you're fighting with. It would be a completely different story if you would be fighting like a cleric, but uh, because cleric has just way too much utility. Right now, cleric is so fucking strong. Holy cow! I feel like it's uh, the cleric. A good cleric player is like. Uh, more of a threat to any class than a fucking warlock. I'm gonna be honest. GG, brother. I was actually kinda messing around with this guy at first, but I messed around for too much. Oh yeah, he has some decent pieces. They were gonna be quite expensive. This whole lobby was just literally the barb fest, brother. Like five bards in this lobby alone. This is actually kinda rare. Is he gonna chase me in the doorway? Brother, you got a mob behind you, man. That I enjoyed, brother. Well, I mean, I'm not sure what was his plan, but uh, it is what it is. We're gonna do one more game right before the high roller. I want to practice a little bit, start to do a little more target practicing. Against barbs, actually, not a bad practice. Uh huh. Huh. Surprised he hit me, though. Okay, triple headshot. Not bad. Maybe last hit wasn't a headshot, but um, yeah, I'm feeling that, that for sure. And I want to keep messing around with him with the survival bow. Okay. Let's give him a couple of steps. One more. Okay. For one more shot, he should die. GG. Alright, looks like we had another guy here. Barb. Okay. Good practice to fight against barbs, by the way. Majority, most of the time, the gameplay is gonna remain the same because they just simply... I'm not sure what this guy is doing. Well, let's play with him for a little bit. I don't wanna just hug him. Uh 
Uh, right in the face. It never gets old. <laughs> yeah, it didn't do much. Ah, fuck it. Oh well, he was one shot. Yeah, I just didn't want to mess it up. And just wanted to fight up until the end point. Probably could have shot him one more time with a survival bow, that would be enough. But pretty much a headshot with a rondel is equivalent to a headshot with a survival bow. Kind of same damage. Oh, this guy was kind of geared. This guy had some cheese. Damn. That worked pretty well. It's like three headshots, I believe. Alright. Let's go extract, I guess. Oh. Wait a minute. He headshotted me once. That one headshot actually did quite a good chunk of damage, holy cow. I have a bunch of cell balls. We're gonna take it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, into the high roller we go. Pretty much playing normals is quite profitable, but we do gotta put a little bit of challenge and we do gotta go to high roller. Like usual, the only players that I saw in the lobby was a couple of wizards, couple of warlocks, and a um, couple of rogues. That's pretty much it. And basically, we gotta test how well this will gonna work in the high roller scenario. All right. What do we have here? Ah oh, man, that's the wizard. Each and every wither that wasn't locked for geared. This one is very geared. It's fine though. I'm still gonna fight him because, well, well, he's kind of a challenge that I want to take, you know. It's gonna be pretty good practice, but usually, usually, when you're playing new fighter, just avoid wizards. Especially with this build, like, this guy would never be able to kill him to, um, you know, in case if I decide to run away. If I try to fight him, yeah, his chance of killing me is like one or two fireballs with one or two zaps. Just gonna be straight up at this. Alright, I'm gonna let him hit me once, so that you get to see how much actually damage it does. Holy fuck, bro, that is way too much damage. Fifth of the health, just was from Splash. Damn, that's gonna be fun. But, um... As long as it do not get third party, I should be able to control the fight for quite a while. Okay, depths are quite scary. I'm missing every hit. I panic a little bit. Not really though. <laughs> but yeah, I would absolutely suck a dick if I lose my first game to Withered. But no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm fighting him anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, that was an um, arm shot, that didn't do any damage. Right, we want to stay away. One magic missile actually did quite a good chunk of damage. We still have one purple pot, and we're gonna use it. Okay, he should have a stupid amount of uh, magic missiles. He's waiting to cast it, but uh, I'm gonna keep the distance. The thing is, I open doors super fast, faster than any rogue out there. 75% regular interaction speed is like way too much. That's because of the build and the way I built this class. Pretty much the moment I get advantage, people really wouldn't be able to do much about this. Pretty much this is the kiting meta that um, I've been talking about for so long. Alright, let's use the pot. I still have a Princess Cax. Okay. I'm gonna keep him on edge the whole time. One... I can show you, okay. I thought it would take one hit, but I took, I took a couple. Yeah, this guy is geared. Yes, this guy is very geared. And pretty much, I've checked him already in the pre-lobby. He had a bunch of true and pretty much almost every piece he had was purple. But um, he doesn't have a book. I'm not sure what his plan was really. Like, what he was doing. Yeah, this guy is geared. I didn't take him like as a big threat, but I should have. That was actually a mistake because the guy is too geared. Has too much will, too much true magic damage, 
and um, he could have fucked me, like, really. I had to play very careful. And the good thing that I tried to put some effort to actually kite him around instead of committing fully to a fight. That's my friend, a fight as a fighter versus withers. The withers is your main counter. Probably the warlock is your main counter, but then goes withered. The warlock is just too much of a threat. We have someone to my left, there's some fight going on. What the fuck? Wait. Wait, brother, are you fucking serious? Holy hell. Oh, no, 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 not the fucking mage. No, 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 let's get out of here. Let's... Oh, fuck, we have a warlock here. No, 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 no. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it fighting the warlock. If anything, not the warlock. Damn, but that guy that I killed was fucking Giga Juicer. Probably like 15,000 to 20,000 gold. Fuck. And my kid probably like 5 to 7,000. Shit. Oh well. So, basically, apparently the warlock left. I tried to chase him down, but he got away and he took all the cheese. But it doesn't matter. The wizard that I killed here, he ended up killing someone. And pretty much we had just about enough loot for both me and that warlock. So even though the guy took all the best stuff and got away, at the end of the day it's okay because this guy has just way too much cheese. Seems like he did kill someone and whoever he killed was actually quite a pricey guy. Also, physical damage plus physical power is pretty good. That cloak is really good. I guess I'm just gonna throw everything and just take all the best cheese. I do want to take pots because I never have enough of those. Holy fuck, the cloak is so good. I guess I'm gonna throw the rope bucket. As for the rest. Mm, pendant with power is also pretty decent. It's like having a pendant with 5 strength. So yeah, definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. Alright. Okay, I guess let's just go take extract and move on to the next game. Alright, so pretty much I'm gonna quickly drag this stuff so that you would be able to track the progression that we made so far. Basically, this is the stuff that I got from the game and everything here is, um, you know, going to be sold eventually. But as for now, I just want to quickly show you what we ended up getting. And we gotta go into the next game right after. I did probably spend already almost a thousand gold on the pots and the arrows. But I did end up selling a whole bunch of stuff from the um, games that we had. So we probably kind of made it back in a way. So we didn't really spend nothing at the end of the day. Bro, a bard who have nothing has 137 health, 17 PDR, high move speed. He's gonna cast songs. He's gonna be at 310 move speed with all of this. You literally have nothing. Bro, what is this? <laughs> like, th this guy is actually a threat. Oh, fuck, this is... Oh, boy, this is gonna be interesting, man. This is gonna be very fucking interesting. He has true damage. I don't have true damage, so fighting him was actually be um, something that I kind of like to do. They have additional weapon health. He has more health, health than I do. Yep, this is like literally the clone of my build, but the difference is I have a bu um, buckler and um, he doesn't. Usually, all the road leads to the mid-map. Okay, this is dead end. Wow. Alright, so pretty much I was trying to chase this guy for past like 3 minutes straight up. And uh, up until the point where he blocks the door. And I have an army of fucking mobs where I almost literally got butt fucked. That's definitely not something that I really enjoy. And today is not the day where I would appreciate this. So, instead of trying to chase him, I decided to do one very smart thing, and that is to not fuck around and clear mobs, especially when you're not on a barb. I don't have crush, but I have regular interaction speed. But even with the crush, he still would be able to trap me with all the mobs here. What the hell is going on here? Oh, holy hell, what the fuck? Wait. I'm not gonna be fucking friends with no one in the high roller. What the hell is this? He died in one hit? Probably was like half HP or something. Damn. Holy hell, brother. Just like that? Sheesh. 
He was pretty geared. I feel like I heard the rogue here or something. Wait a second, dead eye and the rogue. <laughs> That's a fucking barb. I wanna mess around with him a little. Oh, that was a clean headshot. The headshots do a lot of damage, by the way. Oh, holy fuck. He was able to land a shot like that? Sheesh. I have another barb here. Are you fucking kidding me? Gotta trap him in between. Make a little sandwich. He was running away from something. He probably kind of heard or something. I'm not sure. Not the usual bar behavior, I would say. Okay. One more. Yo, that guy is fucking running, man. Just moving straight up. <laughs> well, that guy probably gonna get away. We have uh, two extracts, like, literally super close. Did you brother? I mean, that's just the side of the game that I don't really like. I'm gonna be honest, what I do here feels like fucking something illegal. You know what I mean. It just doesn't feel right, you know, just doesn't feel right. From the end to the... from the start to the end. Someone fighting in the river. Hmm, interesting. Oh, what the bar doing? What the bar doing, brother? My man! My bard! That's the guy without rings, but with a decent gear. Did you? There is nothing could be done. This is why I kind of consider this build to be actually quite strong, because you will be able to deal with pretty much everything but um, clerics. Clerics is just too much right now. One true magic lock. Bro, it's like, all of this is money, but it just... Oh, two agility. Oh, hell. Oh, bro, I just realized one thing. I didn't find the fighter. Oh, hell no, nah, man. This is so such. There's only one player in particular that was very interested to find that it was the fighter. And I have no fucking idea where he could be at. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do really fast. We're gonna drag all the stuff out to be able to track all the cheese we were able to get. And pretty much we're getting a little too much stuff. Probably one more high roller game and we'd be literally full. And we also got a quite a decent amount of stuff from, you know, games we had both in normal and in high roller. The normals are a lot less stressful. And if you want to make gold, normals are just so much better. But high roller at the same time, you know, just going to give you that kind of dopamine rush. Pretty much every time you play in the high roller, it's like you're kind of playing a roulette. Like a form of double down every single time. You never know if you're gonna win or not, because sometimes you're just gonna find a rogue when you're playing as a scissors, you know what I mean? This game is kind of based on rock, paper and scissors. And the clerics at the moment is just everything, like straight up. Both rogue, paper and scissors added in one fucking class. <laughs> Little did he know. Seems like we have a guy doing the troll here, but I'm not sure if I want to intervene. I'm a fighter, I don't want to bother with troll. But, um, I have an idea. I'm gonna let him kill the troll, and then I'm gonna come down after I'm done farming players in the high roller. So pretty much I'll let him finish cooking the troll. I'll go make a couple of kills, and then when I'm done with those, I'll come back and farm this guy and all the treasures that he's gonna come up with. So I think that's a good idea. I really hope that he's gonna loot the trash pile so that um, I wouldn't have a uh, bother wasting my time on, you know what I mean? Alright, let's try and snipe him. Has to be a headshot. Okay. He's gonna switch to right. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Haha. <laughs> well. It is what it is. I don't really think that was a justifiable change. One lantern counters the whole class. It's like... Oh, holy fuck, this guy is actually quite dangerous. 
keep my arm. Three times. One headshot, two arm hits. Yeah, the guy's a threat. Well, let's see if I could bait him to walk in. And I'll close the door behind him. If that's gonna work out, he will die. So let's see if that's gonna work out. Holy fucking shit. Okay. Did you see how much damage that fucking did to me? Holy fuck, I hate this class so much. But it is what it is. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep closing the door till we start pushing. He doesn't have the uh, perk. Or, I mean, he doesn't have a skill that's gonna push me away. So it's gonna be on cooldown for probably another 5 to 10 seconds. Let's try to close the door behind him so that I'd be able to pressure him all the way in the wall. Okay. I'm gonna keep trying to heal up and eventually I feel like he would fucking lose it. I mean, Rangers usually not very patient people. Oh, holy fuck, right in the eye, brother. You're fucked up, brother. GG. Holy fuck, you almost pushed me into the river. Oh, <laughs> damn. That was kind of scary. He almost killed me, though, in that first encounter. Like, that just did so much damage, that was absolutely ridiculous. But it doesn't change the fact that he fucking went overly aggressive and absolutely got fucking... Um, he got unlucky. You know what I mean? Alright, 50% chance the guy is still here. 50% chance that... No, never mind. I was about to say that he died to a troll or something. <laughs> Alright, let's actually see what the guy is at. Mm. What if... What if... He's hiding there in the shadow to my right. Could that be the case? Probably not, if that'd be a rogue. He didn't try bother looting this. Hmm. Um, well, he's not here. Yo, no shot, he killed Cyclops. Okay. <laughs> well, time to kill him and take all the cheese. See what the guy's up to. Alright. He wasn't here, it seems like. Chris is still here. I would have taken Chris at least. That's actually a decent one. Additional weapon damage. No, that ain't it. My pants are much better. Okay, dokie. He's probably either looting or he's just about to plan open up the door. So let's see what he's up to. Okay. I know you did. I know you did, brother. You don't even know how much that actually means to me. This guy is a true hero. He killed both Cyclops and the troll. Brother, you are the real hero. Like, that act right there, you don't even know, brother, how much you actually truly mean to me, brother. You don't even know. I, 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 I genuinely appreciate what you did there. Genuinely. Like, straight up. Out of heart. Straight up, brother. Just love and support and like you're you're the true hero. Alright, good enough, I guess. I guess we can go, you know? We got the play pens, we got the armor, we got the survival bow. But we almost filled up the whole inventory of items, by the way, from one play session. I feel like I feel like with this we could conclude the video because there is none space left. Like I actually have some space here, but I do wanna keep some a little bit of space just, you know. To be able to breathe literally i feel like we ended up getting maybe too much playing from normals and a little bit of high roller and um yeah this build is definitely broken we leveled up we didn't die today we you know doing pretty good pretty much most of the fights we had were our, under our control and overall that was actually quite enjoyable experience i feel like fighter would fight off and get you know withers and warlocks off guard and pretty much in the if you're in the right time in the right spot this class could be the s tier the absolute s this of a class this is high-end a plus tier class because you will be able to deal with um, all the physical damage and you will be able to fight off at least defend yourself against warlock a little bit and against uh you know wizards and if they play overly um, careless you you will be able to get them off guard with the little oof oof sprint and the uh, rondel dagger so pretty much i hope i was able to showcase how this build works and um, most importantly I hope you had some fun watching this video. You could try to replicate this build and try to see how well it's gonna go. I would rate this build 
mm, either S minus or A plus, you know, for sure. It's literally right there because, well, Withers and Warlocks could still cook you. And um, yeah, you got to be very careful against those two classes. But as for the rest, you can deal with literally everything. Anyway, it's Timo. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.